This is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today we're going to take a break from the animal cards so that we can make a container to hold them in. I find that I'm getting piles of cards built up and so I wanted to make a container. Now, I made this box to put them in and if um, you go to my blog you'll find a link to a previous box when I gave instructions on how to make it. For now I'll just tell you that I cut it at the bottom part of the box is cut at eight inches by nine inches and then it's scored at one and a half inches all around and then um, trimmed and taped down and then the lid is um, cut a little bit smaller it's cut at six and a half by seven and a half scored at three quarter inches all around trimmed and taped down again you can all leave a link to where I showed you how to make this box in a previous video um, but today I just want to focus on getting it decorated. So um, in keeping with the animal theme, I went to create a critter and I found this poodle. The inspiration for that was from the K. Andrew Designs All About Animal set was this Poodles of Fun. And I've already planned out my whole set of eight cards and that was one I wasn't going to be using. And I thought, well, that's kind of fun because it'll show that we're having fun. So what I did is I took my Poodles of Fun and I took my Poodle from Doodle Charms page 36 and I cut on the standard layer, I cut that out in black and then on layer one I cut that in white, layer two I cut in cream from Recollections and layer three I cut in two different shades of purple depending, I didn't have quite enough to make all the boxes completely match for my base paper so I ended up changing up the purples just a little bit but I'll, I'll explain that more when we come to it and I cut all of those out at four inches so let's get our box decorated the first thing I have is I have this paper from um, I think it's Penny Penny's Playground and um, this is some paper that I bought a long time ago when um, we had a scrapbooking store and I had made a journal um, or a, a card holder or something for a, a book for someone and they liked the color purple and I found this paper and I just absolutely, absolutely loved it. If you know that I love purple and um, so I found this. Unfortunately, it didn't come in a set. It was sold by the piece and I bought a few pieces of it and now the scrapbooking store is closed so this I actually found in my scrap bin and I cut that at five and three quarters inches tall by four and three quarter inches wide and I'm just going to set that aside for now and we'll bring out our base page now this is some dark purple that I used um, that I found in my stash and it matches the purples in there and then this is orchid um, ribbon from Gifts International and I'm going to put that on here and I just already tied the bow just because you know if you've seen my videos that I struggle a bit with bows and then um, I didn't want to stamp directly on this because even if I use if I use black you it was readable but it was difficult to see so what I did is I took a piece of this light purple and I stamped my sentiment poodles of fun so let's go ahead and put that on and I'll get that adhered down I'm going to show you the variation for this box in just a few minutes and you'll see that I did not I just stamped my sentiment directly onto this base piece of paper because it was a lighter color and so now this is my little poodle all put together you see the white and the pink or the um, black is on the bottom coming through the eyes and the mouth and then um, the cream and then the dark purple bows now you see the little peak on her cheeks and I don't know where poodles cheeks are that's just where I just kind of guesstimated it to be that was not part of the original die cut and what I really wanted to do was find my um, chalks which I have not used in years and years um, but I've watched Mary at Cards TV and every once in a while she'll be making a little 
face or a little animal or something and she'll put a little bit of blush on them with her chalks and I thought oh that's a good idea for this particular one I'll pull out my chalks but I couldn't find them and I don't have time to keep looking so I just decided to take a pink zig pen and just go go with it like that and I just kind of circled it in now I'm going to slide this in and before I press it down because I put a lot of adhesive on it and I want a lot of adhesive on it because it's on the top of the box you know I thought it would be really fun if the poodle was popped up and then I thought well I better not because if it's popped up being on the outside of the box it would easily get pulled off so there's our front our top and I've kind of got the little um, piece hanging over the edge and that's okay it may eventually get folded down a little bit but I don't mind that at all Oops. it just will add that little extra dimension and I know you know how generous I am with my ATG but especially when I'm doing something like a box that um, may take quite a bit of wear and tear I want to use lots and lots of ATG adhesive and then we'll just set this down and see by the time we're done here it's not really hanging over the edge at all because it's still on my box so there's the top decorated part of our box now I wish I had cut it a little bit differently I wish I had used the light purple to cut the bows in her hair and I didn't and I really wish I had so now we are ready to put start putting our um, things inside the box now remember that my goal is to make eight cards so what I did is I counted out nine envelopes I don't know about you but I hate to get to about a box of notes and then find out I've messed up an envelope so bad that it needs to be thrown away and then I have an extra card and not enough envelopes so that my recipients can avoid that I'm giving them nine envelopes instead of eight so that'll just fit in the bottom and you notice there's plenty of room for them to move course I don't want them moving too much but I don't want them so snug that they bend the cards or the um, envelopes while they're trying to get them out and then the next thing I'm going to put in is my a um, ATC card um, and it's been a very long time since I've made ATC cards and I'm getting kind of down to the bottom of them but um, I want the recipients of this um, to have my ATC card kind of like a business card so that they can know about my blog too because um, three of the sets are going to be for um, prizes for the stroke day that I'm planning and so I want to be sure that my um, they know where to follow my blog so here are the first three cards now our four cards and looking at that I'm not sure we're gonna get eight in here we may end up just doing six we'll just have to see how it goes besides that I'm really running tight on time and so that is our completed box all done now I want to show you the variation before I close this is the other one that I made now this is what I was talking about with the, the purple. I didn't have enough of this striped paper to do all four boxes, so that's why three of them were like this. This um, orchid is such a close match to the base paper that I almost didn't use it. I almost pulled the dark purple, and then I thought, no, that was kind of pretty. I gave it a monochromatic look. However, I do wish that I had made the bows, you know, maybe alternated the bows and done the dark purple bows on this one and the light purple bows on that one but that's just something you learn about for next time so there's um, my card boxes we have half of the cards done and the boxes are done so thanks for watching and have a great day